Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Kaff, J U F. Hope everyone's having a good weekend out there so far. So today, uh, we're going to do something different. We're going to practically program uh, a C4FM simplex memory location into the FT991A. And I've been watching a series of videos from Yesu. It's, uh, they have an ed educational series. Uh, I think the guy, his name is John, who does them. Anyway, I picked up on a, some information, and uh, what I picked up on was there is a dedicated uh, C4FM uh, simplex frequency uh, for the mode of C4FM, which I thought was pretty cool, because previously we had been transmitting on FM simplex. Uh, they're kind of designated for FM, and we were using C4FM, so uh, this is a kind of a piece of information I was looking for, was where you could actually talk in C4FM. Um, so this is what they call the dedicated simplex frequency. So what we're going to do today is we're going to program the FT991A. We're going to program memory location 20. And this is essentially what we're going to be doing here. We'll have two radios programmed in simplex. And we'll be talking in digital narrow. And what we'll do is we'll program the radio in. And I'll show you on the exercise. What we're going to do is this guy right here. It'll be memory location uh let's see there it is right there it'll be memory location 20 and just ignore this right here this was carried over from another slide but the memory location will be uh memory location 20 the tag name that we're going to give it is c4fm and the frequency is going to be 145 562.5 Shift will be simplex, and the mode will be C4FM, and AMS will be turned off. And the reason we're going to turn off AMS is because this is a dedicated C4FM frequency, so there shouldn't be any FM traffic on there. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We'll switch over to the radio, and uh, we'll get started. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon, folks. It's Steve Kapp, uh, back at the radio here. So what we're going to do now is the second part of the video is we're going to actually program the FT991A uh, for a memory location channel 20. The tag will be C4FM, which is the, will be the name that will be visible up here. The, de the frequency will be 145, 562.5, and the shift will be simplex. There will be no tones. Uh, the mode will be C4FM, and AMS will be turned off. So we'll kind of go through. We'll, we'll do that right now. So the first thing we want to do is uh, I want to show you something real quick. You notice these four buttons down here. These four buttons, or function keys, they call them, actually follow the mode. So in FM, you're going to see these buttons here. But if I change mode to AM, for example, they're going to change. If I change it to upper sideband, they're going to change again. So you're going to see different configurations. And ideally, what you want to do is you want to put the common buttons for the particular mode that you are working in quickly down here and I'll show you how to align these. So what we'll do next is we're going to go to C4FM and what I like to do is I want to put my AMS button here which is automatic mode select and in this one here I want to put the wires X button. I like having meter here because I always like it over here and I like having memory channel here and I'll, over here that these are my defaults. Usually the two in the middle are the ones I'll change around depending on the mode. So what we'll do first is let's go ahead and get the AMS button here. To do that press the FM list and when you locate the function to swap this is going to start flashing. Now we're going to go locate AMS and press it and now we just populated it down there. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to put the wires X button here. It's up here but we got to get it down here so to do that we got to go find F3 swap that starts flashing. There's our wires X. Watch what happens when I press it. It just moved down there. Now for C4FM which is the mode we're programming today simplex I've got the the buttons just like I want them. I'm going to leave AMS off for this uh, particular exercise. So what we'll do first is I like to lock the VFO that way you don't accidentally bump it while you're, while you're going around the buttons and so forth. So lock the VFO. What we'll do first is we'll go to band and enter and I'm going to enter the frequency 145.562.5 0 I'm going to press enter now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm in simplex and I am. There's simplex right there. 
and I also want to make sure there's there's not going to be a tone because the tone is grayed out because we're in C4 FM. But we could be talk we could be talking to a C4 FM repeater, and in that case, we would have a shift. But for this exercise here, we're strictly simplex. All right, that's what we want right there. So then, what we're going to do is I'm going to press and hold the AM button once, and I'm going to scroll down to number 20. And then I'm going to press and hold the AM button. When it beeps twice, it just transferred that location into, into memory location 20. So now what we want to do is we want to go press the uh, VFO memory. Now we're in memory mode. There's the frequency, and we're going to add a name to it. So to do that, we press and hold uh, this button here. Whoops. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I got to, uh, yeah, this is what I got to do here. Uh, we need to go to uh, M list. I'm sorry. Uh, press and hold. Now we're on M list. I'm going to go to number 20. Now 20 is selected in blue. I'm going to press tag. And I'm going to type in, uh, let's see, let's type in C4 F M. Simplex, S I M P. We can only we can only put ten characters here, so that's just an abbreviation for it. All right, so now we have channel twenty one forty five five six two five zero C four F M, and the tag is C four F M Simplex. So what will happen now is when I go back, when I make sure I'm in memory channel mode, so I have the multi-function knob has control of the memory channels, and there we go, C four F M Simplex. So this is perfect. We'll make a call real quick. And uh, I don't think anyone will be on the frequency, but uh, let me uh, adjust the power real quick. I always try to run 5 watts when I can. Okay, all right, 5 watts, press memory channel to clear. And this is KI5JUF. So what I want to show you, I'll show you something. I'm going to stop the video and jump up to the SWR meter real quick and let you take a look at that. All right, this is the SWR meter. One of the things I wanted to show you here is uh, there's two ranges. If you press it in, you're in the high range. And I'll show you real quick. This is KI5JUFC. We're at 5 watts, KI5JUF testing. If I press it in or release it, now I'm going to be on the lower scale, which is 0 to 30. And this is better because I can see the needle uh, with more resolution, so I make sure we're not losing power. This is KI5JUF testing, 5 watts, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform, Foxtrot testing. Looks good, SWR looks good. So you saw this needle go up just a hair, and theoretically wherever those two needles cross, that's going to be your estimated SWR. So this looks good. Uh, main thing is, I like having this needle meter here because I have this at eye level, and I can see this thing, so if something's going wrong, uh, I had some other videos uh, with running Ham Radio Deluxe and Win when Sweet Yesu 4 was causing my power to drop. It's nothing wrong with their software. It's just something wrong in my setup. And one subscriber said get a shielded USB cable, which is what I'm going to do. So we'll try that next. But uh, again, this is the video here. It shows you how to set up C4 FM Simplex. And uh, we're going to have a talk group tonight. And uh, we'll see who gets on the air. So again, 73 from KF5JUF. Thanks again for watching.